breaking news that the Hunter Biden plea deal, which we all expected this morning as they went in, thought it'd be a quick turnaround, sure should go in to plea deal, uh, seems to have fallen apart in a court. Here, the police falling apart over a fundamental basic issue. What is the scope and nature of the immunity going forward? Immunity from prosecution. They thought they had a universal deal. The defense lawyer saying, this is it. We're done. He'll plead to these two charges. You cannot then investigate him for fair violations that have already been going on and and any other charges they might have yeah. under review. In other words, the plea deal was a universal plea deal. It resolves the matter. Any investigations involving him. Apparently, that is not what the Department of Justice said they thought the deal meant. It's hard to believe that at this 11th hour that this is happening. People are going to ask, why would something like this happen? How does this happen? And what are the implications? I've never had a situation on a plea where you did not know going into it what was at stake and what the scope and nature of the plea was going to include. The time to negotiate is before you walk into that courtroom, not standing there before the judge who's waiting to take a plea and discussing and disagreeing on the scope and extent of the plea. That's embarrassing. It's also bad for the justice system. From the New York Times, they have someone in the courtroom. And listen to this language, Andy. This is federal district uh, judge, Norik, uh, said this. He asked Leo Wise, who is the U.S. attorney for the uh, District of Delaware, uh, he's the top prosecutor in the case, if the deal meant, in other words, the plea arrangement meant that Hunter Biden would be immune from prosecution for other possible crimes, including violations relating to representing foreign governments, that's Foreign Agent Registration Act cases, Weiss said no. And Hunter Biden's lawyer responded by saying that the deal was now null and void. Then Hunter Biden lawyers repeatedly cast the deal as the final chapter of a five-year inquiry into the president's son. But Judge Norika quickly punctured that assertion when she asked the prosecutor again, this is Leo Wise, if the Biden investigation was, quote, ongoing. He replied, yes, adding that if Biden's team thought otherwise, then there's no deal. Paula Reed from CNN just said, update, Hunter Biden plea deal is now back on. Pierce Biden legal team now agrees the DOJ could later charge Biden on unrelated issues. Okay, this is, you can't, you can't, you can't make this stuff up. I mean, so this is, is like, I've done a zillion of these. I'm as a, as a government lawyer, as a, as a private lawyer. This goes into, is this a show? Mike, you start wondering here. I mean, we've had this two hour now of drama unfolding. I kept telling our team here, everything could change in 10 minutes. And it was a gun charge and it was a fair violation. Now, Biden's team says, okay, we'll take the deal. And we, uh, you might be investigating us later. I mean, it th- seems to me to be so outside the ordinary protocol and how these things are done. This gets the the institutional trust that the American people have in the FBI and in the DOJ. When you see these kind of shenanigans, you see this kind of chaos, you see this kind of uncertainty and things that look like they're outside the rails, right? They're just, they're disconnected from anything an ordinary American citizen would have the opportunity to do or to see. You, you, you begin to lose faith in these institutions. If this plea deal falls apart, Hunter Biden could be facing five, six, seven, eight felony counts. Because if the plea deal falls apart, all bets are off. Now, the question is here, what the Department of Justice is willing to negotiate. And is this a real deal or is this a wink and a nod? And he was getting off very light. It was a very good deal that he got. The problem here is they thought they had a universal deal. Apparently, that's not the case. Now, uh, CNN is reporting that they think the deal's back on. Is that correct, Will? As of right now, they think the deal's back on. Talking to our producer. reporter, yeah. Fox is still saying the deal has fallen apart. Somewhat it's an entertaining twist and turn to see where this goes because I think a lot of people assumed that this was going to be a walk-in. Oh, I did. 15 minutes, check-in, good, he pleased this, good, moving on, and we're out. And that's what the news reported was going to be. But a ca- but you know, chaos ensued, and now here we are. According to CNN, this is happening live while we're on the air. Plea proceedings have restarted, and the president's son has agreed. Now, this is a lot broader than it was before, though. So there's interesting here. To a limited agreement that covers 2014 and 2019. So anything between those five years, 2014 and 2019, including any tax-related offense, drug use, or gun possession, is now off the table. That will be an accepted plea. 
That's interesting. He, yeah. So he'll plead guilty to the two misdemeanors from 2017 and 2018, but the agreement will also cover tax-related conduct that has not been indicted, and that's where the IRS whistleblowers were alleging fraud uh, for the other three years. Those are two sides have agreed to this, uh, supposedly, that it does not shield him from potential future charges. Now, the chances of those future charges, I will tell you, slim right. to none. So I think everything, Logan, right now is literally up for grabs. I think people are aware of that. And that's why this drama that's happening right now, although, again, you know, Fox is still saying it's falling apart. CNN think- is saying they think it's done. I don't know. I, I think that you have a situation right now where until we see what actually comes out of the court, we're not going to know.